Hello kids, hello! I miss you a lot. Okay, today we'll be learning about God's judges. That's right, judges. But before we go there, I want to know, hmm, who here has a good memory? Anybody? Is it you? Let's test it out. Okay, can anyone tell me what they have learned last week? Here is a hint. You remember this? Yeah, hear the word? That's right, it's trap. So kids, we learned last week that God's people get trapped by their own sin. They did not want to remove the wicked enemies from the land. So God decided to let those enemies stay and rule over God's people. So those wicked enemies became a trap to God's people. And those wicked enemies sent lots of soldiers to fight them. Not only that, but those wicked enemies also caused God's people to worship idols. Okay, that was last week's lesson. Now, what would God do with his people? His people got trapped by their own sin, right? So, they will still be very sinful. We know that God is a faithful God. So, He will do something great for His people. Now, today, I will start us off with a very cool story. And it's about a story of two brothers first his name is max meet max max is a very naughty son because he loves stealing people's things in class because he wants to own everything that his friends have and when he's caught stealing he does not want to admit. In fact, he blames it on others. Unbelievable, Max. And Max's dad knows that Max is a very naughty son. He knows that Max has stolen lots of things in class. So Max's dad decides to get Max to pay back everything that Max has stolen. So he made him work for it. His dad got him to wash the clothes, to do the dishes. And then finally, Max realizes that he has been a naughty person boy max said sorry to his dad he said sorry to all of his friends and then finally his dad forgives him yay but sadly max forgot his lesson he started stealing people's things again oh dear is worse now because he is lying about it and his dad knows that Max forgot his lesson he has started stealing again and he has gotten worse because he is lying about it so his dad decides to punish Max he decides to take all of his favorite things away. And not just that, but he has also grounded Max. So Max 
cannot go out to hang out with his friends anymore. Then Max said sorry to his dad. He said, I'm sorry, dad. I know I've done something really wrong. And he promised that he will not repeat the same mistake anymore. So kids, do you think Max would change this round? No. Not long after that, Max started stealing again. And he started lying again. And on top of stealing and lying about it, he has gotten worse. He started arguing with all of his teachers. Oh my goodness, Max, you're such a naughty boy. He is so naughty till the school does not want him anymore. The school wants to kick him out. Max's dad knows that Max has been very naughty. Very, very naughty. And he also knows that his son is going to be kicked out from school. So his dad finally calls up his oldest son. Hi kids, meet Wayne. Wayne is Max's older brother. His dad sends Wayne to go and deal with Max's problem in school. And guess what? Wayne saved Max from being kicked out from school by talking to the principal. The principal loves Wayne a lot because Wayne has been an obedient student. So yay! Wayne saved Max at the end of the day. Wayne also knows that Max is very naughty. So Wayne never leaves Max out of sight. He observes Max wherever he goes. Wayne gets Max to own up all the problems that he did in school, all the wrong that he did. And Wayne made sure that he does not run away from facing the consequences of his wrong. Wayne made sure that he face up to it, to the point that he's so ashamed about it. Wayne also showed Max that all of his friends all of his friends have left him because he has been such a naughty friend and that Max felt so horrible about his naughty behavior he doesn't want to be that naughty boy anymore he wants to change for good because he knows that when he does not change, he will have no school to go, no friends that he will have in school, and he will have no family members who can trust him anymore. So he wants to change. He feels very sad about his naughty behavior. Max has finally become an obedient child to his dad and his dad is so proud of him. He no longer steals, he no longer lies about it and he no longer argue with his teachers. And all thanks to who? All thanks to his bigger brother, Wayne. Wayne has changed Max for good. Wayne saved Max's life and led him to become an obedient son together. So do you know what kids? Just like his dad sent Wayne to go and save Max's life, God also did 
the same thing to his rebellious people. So when God's people were still so sinful, God raised judges to save his people from their enemies and to lead them faithfully back to God. And all these judges were given one very special gift by God. And that is the Spirit. So why do these judges need the Spirit? Well, that's because the Spirit of God will help these judges to rule God's people faithfully. And also they will not allow the wicked enemies to rule God's people. But when the judges died, guess what? God's people went back to sin. And it's worse now. They become even more evil than before. They worship even more idols this round and they kept the enemies in the land. But we know that God is a faithful God. So God decided to raise up another judge to save his people from their enemies and to lead these people back to God faithfully. Now, let's meet some of God's judges who had God's spirit. Meet Othniel, the good judge. And Othniel was filled with the spirit. And Othniel ruled for 40 years. And there was no disturbance from the enemies. There was peace in the land. I heard the left handed judge. He was a left handed man, meaning he is unable to use his right hand. That makes Ehud a weak warrior. Yet God used his disability to defeat the king of the enemies. People were at peace for 80 years under Ehud as a judge. Meet Gideon, the timid judge. When the angel of the Lord first appeared to him, he was hiding in a wine press. He was hiding from the enemy's attacks. You see, Gideon was a scary <coughs> Gideon, yet the angel of the Lord called Gideon a mighty warrior because the Lord had chosen Gideon to be and said that he would be with him. Gideon didn't understand why his people were under attack. He even blamed God for abandoning his people. After many times of hearing from God, he still failed to take God at his word, just like the rest of Israel had done. He needed a sign from God to assure him that the Lord would be with him. And after the Lord gave him a sign, Gideon was finally convinced that the Lord was truly with him. But he was still not brave enough to destroy the idols in town during broad daylight, as the Lord had commanded him. You see, when the idolatrous people found out what Gideon had done, Gideon ran and he hit himself again. And his own father had to defend Gideon's actions. The Spirit of God was upon Gideon when he led Israel to battle. When Gideon was asked to gather an army, the Lord asked Gideon to reduce the size of the army from 32,000 to 300. It was to show that the Lord was the one who saved Israel. It was the Lord who brought victory through the judge, Gideon. Gideon was the most unlikely person to save Israel because he was a scaredy cat. He couldn't even bring himself to trust God completely, so he needed many signs to prove that God was true. Yet God used Gideon's weakness to save Israel. Meet Samson, the unfaithful judge. Samson was set apart as holy for the Lord. 
He was given the gift of great strength from the Lord. God's Spirit was upon him since young. The Spirit led him to defeat lions and Israel's enemies. He was given a great strength from the Lord. However, he rebelled against the Lord by marrying one of the women from the enemies, even when he knew it was wrong. He also loved a prostitute named Delilah. But Delilah only wants to be with Samson in order to destroy him. She wants to find out the secret to his great strength. Samson finally gave in to Delilah and told her that his hair was the reason for his great strength. His strength was a gift from the Lord to rule Israel as a judge. But just like Israel, Samson turned away from God and became unfaithful with his gift. He then lost all his strength because his love towards the prostitute. As a result, Israel fell into the hands of the enemies. Samson then learned that he needs God to save him. Samson asked God to give him back his strength so that he could save Israel from their enemies one last time before he dies. God then granted his request for power and in the end, Samson destroyed the enemies of poor Israel and he also died together with the enemies. What does this teach us kids? We learn that only way God can save his people through his judges. The people can't save themselves. Hey kids, so now we will be having our memory verse time. So today's verse comes from Judges 2 verse 18. It goes like this. Whenever the Lord is the judges for them, the Lord was with the judge and he saved them the hands of all their enemies all the days of the judge. Isn't it simple kids? Let's try it one more time. Whenever the Lord uses up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge and he saved them from the hands of their enemies all the days of the judge. That's all for memory verse. Let's thank God for being a faithful God of his people. Even though his people are not faithful to him all the time, just like us and worthy sinners. Hi kids! My name is Teacher Eileen and we're going to sing some songs together today. Now, God is the boss of everything. But his chosen people Israel worshipped and followed false gods. But who really is the only king and only boss over everything? It is only God. Let's sing. God rules, okay, no the gods, no way, he's the Lord, he's the king, he's the boss of everything, he's the boss of everything. God rules, okay, no the gods, no way, he's the Lord, he's the king.
No way, he's the one, he's the king, he's the boss of everything. He's the boss of everything. God rules, okay, no the gods. No way, he's the one, he's the king, he's the boss of everything. He's the boss of everything. God rules, okay. Now kids, even though Israel sinned against God, God gave them leaders who would lead them faithfully. But like Israel, the leaders were also sinful. But God sent Jesus, the perfect leader who is always faithful to God. Jesus always had God's spirit and only Jesus can save God's people from our punishment, from sin. Let us always put our trust in Him.
Thank you.